Hey guys, welcome back to Adobe Live. Hello, everybody in chat. Uh, I'm Kathleen, and I'm here with Ginny Yu, awesome illustrator. She's been here for the last three days, as well as Roman, who you just saw if you were here. And then we have Corey Brickley coming up next, and Sophie Diao to finish off our week. Welcome back. Everyone is so excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Hi, Jenny and Kathleen. What's up, Adobe Live Hi. team? Um, so if you guys are new to this stream, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is a weekly show. So yes, it happens every week. Every week's theme is different. And this week just happens to be digital painting and illustration. So we have four amazing digital painters slash illustrators here to just rock their stuff and show you how they make it and maybe answer some questions if you have them. I'm addicted to this, says Gustavo. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's one addiction I'm okay with you having. <laughs> Very cool. So if you stick around for the entire uh, stream, for Jenny's stream, you have the chance to win a giveaway, but also have a chance to enter the contest. Uh, the contest today, the theme is crown. So it's a little more ambiguous than the other two days. All you have to do is use Photoshop CC or Illustrator CC 2018. That's the most updated version. Draw an illustration around the theme crown and then use the Google form within the contest tab if you're watching us on be.net slash live, best way to watch us, or go to bit.ly, so it's bit.ly slash submit Adobe. And you have about an hour and 45 minutes to make some cool crown illustration. If you don't win this time, don't worry, you have two more chances today during Corey and Sophie's stream. Yes. <laughs> oh, Kelly Sparrow from Greece. Kelly Sparrow, that means good morning, I think. Oh. Yeah. I went to Greece good one time. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm glad people are saying that they learned stuff. Yes. <laughs> Continue to teach us, Master. I would hope so. <laughs> so before we get started, do you want to give us a little intro? Yeah. Uh, I'm Jenny Yu. I'm an illustrator and environment concept artist that works at Mindshow right now. Um, I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I've been working professionally professionally in the industry for about a year now people have been giving you money for things for about a year now. yeah yeah exactly like i started <laughs> making money and i can buy like my own stuff yeah, now. Video <laughs> games now. <laughs> um so yeah uh, um, that's just a bit of background on me and what i've been working on is just like this uh i guess uh that's like oh, no, you're good. <laughs> so many good illustrations. <laughs> I've been working on this girl in a study room, and um, mm -hmm. this is what I've been working on for the past two days. So I'm just planning to do finishing touches and textures, and I might finish early, so I might just start on a new illustration. But if you guys want to see anything, then feel free to suggest stuff. But yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up today. <laughs> Um, Wayne says nerd light. nerd light. I was actually thinking about that. I'm like, no one has ever said I'm nerd light before, and I kind of love that aesthetic for myself. That nerd brand. light. That's so good. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate it. Vienna says, oh, that's nice. Very nice. It is a very calming scene. Yeah, I think I try to tend tend to gravitate towards more calming feelings mm -hmm. in my work since life is always so stressful. Yeah, <laughs> inject a little positivity into that. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this. Um, mm -hmm. And actually, add. before you continue, mm. would you mind walking through a little bit like how you've achieved yeah. this so far? All right, let's go back to... Let's go all the way back. The very first, I think the first day, I started with just a very simple sketch and I did a value pass on the illustration so here it's just like very rough sketch and some dark values and some light values and some indications of what would go in the background mm -hmm. and whatnot um and then from there i started blocking in colors uh i don't know if i have i guess yeah i have this um, started blocking in colors here and i think that's where i left off the first day mm -hmm. um, and then i ended up changing the composition I Great. think, yeah, for me, I keep, always keep re-editing in my mind. Yeah. Like, I'm always looking at it. I'm like, okay, this can be better. This can be better. Like, how much can I make this piece better? Mm -hmm. And it's just constant. Sometimes, like, I don't know if that's a good thing because I get kind of obsessive. Yeah. But um, Somebody says on the first day you erased almost the whole thing. It was very brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have to be willing to do that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I started color blocking. Um from there, I think I left off here yesterday. Well, let's see. 
And even at the beginning, you started totally just with a sketch. Yeah. You hadn't really sketched in an actual sketchbook. I did a small thumbnail. A small thumbnail. Very small. Like, these mm -hmm. are super rough. They're, like, around, like, like, <laughs> I can't even, like, that Be size. <laughs> and then I go in with a very, like, thick pencil, like, 6B. Mm -hmm. And I literally, I'm just scrawling. Yeah. Like, these are not refined sketches. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this is where I left off yesterday when I started compositing the light and adding, like, the blending modes and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, which I think is one thing that I use a lot to get that sense of light. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Very and cool. I'm going to continue from here. I think here I added, I've added a little more blurs mm -hmm. and whatnot and more glowy effects. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to continue working on this. Uh, if anyone has any other questions as far as the initial process goes, I'm happy to answer questions. But yes. I'm going to keep working on this. Mm -hmm. Hopefully finish early so maybe you guys can see something a little different. But Yeah. Uh, Leanna wants to know, when you're doing straight lines, what do you use? Like a pen tool or a path selection tool? I use lasso tool. Mm -hmm. I use this a lot. And then you usually hold down shift to get, if you want something that's completely vertical. Or right something that's completely horizontal, but mm -hmm. if I'm just blocking in shapes like that, then... It's a lot of tapping. Yeah, it's a lot of tapping. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then go like that, and it's like, you have a shape in the background. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> it does kind of look cool. I was like, oh, should I keep that there? Yeah, <laughs> and like Wani said in the chat, if you're just using the brush tool, you can just hold down shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is a straight true. Line. Like, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there, and then you can do a square. Boom. So I'm going to start plopping down back, uh, buildings in the background now. Oh, nice. Like windows. Like mm -hmm. I was thinking like buildings receding into the background. Definitely. And Mukul wants to know, uh, can you download these videos for future, future studies? I don't know if you can download them, but you can go to the Creative Cloud YouTube page, and all of these videos are there. Even the ones from this week, they're already uploaded. You can watch them. Um, and study from those. And you can also, this is really cool, there's an archive of all the past uh, weekly segments so you can go back and learn about mobile apps or motion design. Um, lots of cool r resources back there. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm definitely going to go back on YouTube and I want to watch like Roman's yeah, live stream and right. like Corey's and Sophie's because then I haven't been able to, but mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to go back and watch those. Right, I haven't really been able to either. Yeah. It's like between the two streams. I'm usually stuffing my face with food. Yeah. <laughs> with you. And talking about Maple Story. <laughs> talking about Maple Story. <laughs> uh, Adam says it's a successful stream and you can't wait to go create something yourself. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I agree, Adam. I've been like itching to make things. That's I'm good. I'm like almost excited for the stream to be over. So I'm like, okay, now I can make yeah, art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Leanna, you're still trying to u get used to the ins and outs of Photoshop, and you used GIMP in the past. Oh, nice. Oh, I've used GIMP before, too. Yeah. I was a wee lad. Mm -hmm. I used to use Photoshop Elements that came free with my bamboo tablet, like, 10 years ago. What else did I use? GIMP. Yeah, I definitely use GIMP to mm -hmm. make some fan art. <laughs> to make some fan yeah. art. <laughs> kind of low-key. Yeah. <laughs> Steve says, named layers, proper versioning of files. What is this nonsense? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. No, that's good. And is that something that you feel like you learned in school or when you started working professionally and had to, like, hand off files? When I started working yes. professionally. Mm -hmm. Like, back in school, I would just be like, like, crap layer, more yeah. crap layer. Yep. And then it's, like, final. <laughs> yeah. Real yeah. final. Final, final, <laughs> final. <laughs> but uh, definitely when I started working professionally, I was like, oh, if I hand off these files to, like, I mean, I worked in a motion graphics studio for my first job, mm -hmm. and for my um, vector files, I would always have to organize my layers because I would have to hand it off to an animator. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would have to do, like, front arm, left arm, yeah. that kind of stuff, right. and then that got me in the habit of organizing my layers, mm -hmm. which is pretty important, actually. It is. It um, cuts out so much time. I still get very lost. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I'm always scrolling back and forth. Yeah. I'm like, is that Wait. the layer? Totally. I used to uh, work making graphic t-shirts, so the files oh. were super important in the layering. Because um, it's like if it was an embroidery mixed with a print, you had to make sure the print like went under the embroidery, and if it didn't, your t-shirts did not look so good. Wow. <laughs> that was thousands of dollars down the drain. Oh god, that's so much pressure. <laughs> it was a lot of pressure, but it made me really particular. Mm, yeah, very detailed file handling. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
I know. It's like to be meticulous. It is, and it's good when you're forced to, because then you learn that habit. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have any wiggle room. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's funny because it's like it's not until you start working that you realize, oh, I have to start organizing my layers. Yes. Right. Michael says, I guess I gotta love it then, since I love Maple Story still. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> My man, Michael, what's up, Michael? It. What's your handle? I'm mean, just like I feel like this live stream is just like me trying to like <laughs> dig up some very obscure Maple Story fans yes. on the Adobe community. Yeah. Come on, we should have posted on some sort of Maple Story forum. Like, <laughs> come to b.net/slash live. <laughs> like honestly, like after this, I'll probably just do some Maple Story fan. <laughs> Oh I'll draw my don't, old character. Don't kid. Just do it. <laughs> Yo, I'm down. <laughs> Uh, hello, Danielle. Welcome. Oh, hi, Lena. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah, I love, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think we follow each other, so I really love your illustrations, Lena. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a really awesome illustrator, so. That's great to know, and that's mm -hmm. a, such the cool thing about watching us from the b.net slash live site is you can chat, you can enter the contest, you can find the schedule, but you can also just click on your fellow chat mates' names and go to their Behance portfolios and see... Um, if they're a graphic designer or an illustrator, yeah, I've been I've been creeping through during the streams. <laughs> like, Ooh, ha, ah, yee! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Ahmad. Welcome back. Can you believe that this is the last day, you guys? I know it's crazy. Mm -hmm. It felt like it went by so quickly. Right. Because at first, I remember being like super nervous Aww. and like I was like, oh. You guys, Jenny's done great. You should give her claps in the of, chat. It's all because of Kathleen. It's oh a great no. Host. No, I just sit here and talk. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, someone says I love the Maple Story card game. There's I card didn't game? play the card game. Like actual cards, or was it like Hearthstone, like digital? Probably not, because it was probably really old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember they would start selling like necks on cash at like Targets and stuff. I remember yeah, that too. yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> I was like, what happened? Yes. What happened to that? Like, is this real now? Amazing. Claps for both of you. Claps. You've both done great. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. <laughs> Very nice. So Ahmad, how much time is left for submitting? We are running a contest during this stream, if you didn't know. Um, you have until 12.45, it's about an hour and 30-ish minutes, to submit an illustration around the theme of crown. That's today's theme. Every day has been different. So today it's inspired by Corey Brickley's beautiful illustrations. It's so beautiful. Yeah, so you see it there on the left and he'll actually be up next. So he'll be starting after the contest. Um, so all you have to do is use the most updated versions of Photoshop and Illustrator, make an illustration around the theme crown, and then share your work with us. Uh, either on b.net slash live, go over to the contest tab and submit it there, or um, bit.ly slash submit Adobe. There you go. Submit Adobe. Submit. Your light study is so amazing, says Harris. Oh, thank you, Harris. Mm. I try. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying. Uh, oh, so they're actual cards. Oh, Mike Chambers, he's like, I know all about this. Oh my god. <laughs> you could get codes for digital game items. Yeah, that's what Michael's saying. Each, they had codes for rare <laughs> items you can't get anymore, like a skunk and a blue husky pet pet. <laughs> my people. <laughs> We're like literally like yes. starting to shift this into like just nerd light. <laughs> you know what? People asked for it. Yeah. And we must provide. We must provide. <laughs> Hunter says, not an illustrator, but I can't stop watching this. So interesting. Oh, what, what, what do you do, Hunter? Yeah, let mm. us know. Designer? Mm-hmm. I'm glad. I hope it's something totally not even in the creative field. Yeah, like, like that's I'm always like really cool. Designing rocket toilets. <laughs> <laughs> rocket toilets. <laughs> Yeah, it's always super cool if it's like, oh, I mean, like my coworker who's like an engineer, he's like really into art, and he like always asks me questions about digital uh, things. Like, it's so cool that you're so interested in yes, that. Yes, yeah, definitely. The thing about that is when people like that are interested in art, I get a little jealous because I'm like, I know if you picked up a pencil, you would just be the like most Honestly, amazing artist. Honestly, yeah, I'm like, just like, <laughs> like you're already like amazing at coding yeah. and everything. Like you don't need to. <laughs> like, you're that close to becoming, like, a modern re renaissance man. Yes. Like, you're don't this, do it. Right. This close to becoming don't a unicorn. Don't put me out of the job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. You're already a computer. Please don't steal my job. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Chambers says, we should do a gaming stream. <laughs> I mean, Adobe Live gaming stream. Mike, as you wish. You know? It's that easy. 
I could do like a Cuphead uh, playthrough. I mean, that's co completely mm -hmm. art related. Yeah, no, definitely. I yeah. mean, just like hearing about their process and making that, I'm just like, it's super interesting, especially mm -hmm. since like that style is not popularized in games. Right. So for those of you who might not know, oh, right. do you have like a little overview? Um, Cuphead? What is this new Cuphead phenomenon? God. It's like a, how do I describe it? It's like a platform game mm -hmm. where the style is very influenced by like 30s, 40, 40s uh, cartoons. And mm -hmm. um, I guess I was more into the art. I've never played Cuphead, no, so I, mean, I don't I've know never the played story either. about it. But from what I hear, the backgrounds are all hand painted, like the assets yeah. and things, which yeah, yeah. does not happen very often these days. And um, it's like cell animated too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, Desiree says, love Cuphead, bought it entirely for the graphics. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, yes, that was a Princess Bride reference. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> uh, people are saying this. You only have a, like an hour left to get in your Maple Story memories, so make sure you share them. <laughs> Please do. I know Adobe Live sh Live Team has a couple Maple Story memories that they could share. <laughs> Thirty seconds later. <laughs> yes. Cassandra says Cuphead is super difficult. Yeah, I hear it's really hard to beat the game. Mm -hmm. You know, when I start a video game, my intentions are not to beat it. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, it's, nev I've, it's never happened before, it's never gonna happen. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm always just like, I'm just gonna like, explore the place, yeah. figure out the mechanics. Kill some slimes. <laughs> Kill some slimes. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, like, I used to play a lot of Sonic games when I was younger, and... Sonic? Sonic? Yes. <laughs> Did somebody say Sonic? <laughs> he but appears. it's like, those games are so fast, it's actually kind of difficult to control. It's like, I'm uh -huh. never trying to be very good at a Sonic game. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go fast. Yeah, I just gotta go fast. Faster, 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 faster. Yeah. <laughs> Laura says, I'm lost with maple syrup story. What is that about? <laughs> it's okay that you're maple lost. Maple syrup story. <laughs> um, it is this RPG game. And it has really cute graphics, and it and it influenced us as young artists. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Like mm -hmm. thinking about how I got into art, it was like super organic. It's just like watching a bunch of media, um, and I was like, oh, like artists work on this, mm -hmm. and like they make such cool things. Like yes. I want to make cool right. things. Right. Like somebody drew that. Mm -hmm. I want to draw that. My uh, first memory of art and like when I was like really enamored with it was I grew up with two older brothers and they always played PlayStation and I never got to play I would just watch and they were playing Final Fantasy 7 hell yeah and I saw the cutscenes and I'm like first of all Cloud Strife is really cute <laughs> second of all somebody drew these people and I want to draw them someday thank you and that was like 20 years ago <laughs> And dun, dun, everything dun. changed since then. Yes. Everything changed since then. Munir says, I made an Android game. It was a good experience, but I hated coding bugs. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, like, I work with, I don't work with the engineers directly at Mindshow, but when I ever, whenever I hear them, like, talk about bugs and stuff, I'm just like, they just keep happening. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, like, never ending. And They're infested. Yeah, but, I mean... And, like coding is like a completely like different field. I'm just like I'm always so amazed when I'm just like, wow, you did that with code. Like you yes. can make that interaction with code. Right. I'm just like, oh my god, it's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. and all I do is just paint. <laughs> Not all you do. You're obviously making magic happen. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Some of it. Uh, Stefania wants to know what programs do you prefer for animation when you do little mm, animations. My little gifts. Um, like I said, it's like, I'm not a professional animator at all, so I used Photoshop a lot for GIFs just because it was, I used Photoshop, that's like my main program, so I was yeah. like, oh, I already know the interface, then I can just use the timeline to make a frame animation. And I would also use After Effects, right? because then that was a little more simple with the keyframes mm -hmm. instead of going frame by frame. Yeah. Um, Although you can kind of do that with the timeline tool in Photoshop. It's like, oh, that's true. A little bit similar. I don't know. After Effects is cray cray. It's cray cray. Mm -hmm. What's up, Leon? Everybody, if you don't know Leon, he does my mud flaps or mud flap. <laughs> mud flap. Mud flap. Um, amazing illustrator. Actually, Leon, I was wearing your Yeti pin yesterday on stream. I was repping your, repping your swag. <laughs> Go check it out, you guys. 
<clears throat> Adriana says, I kind of got used to hearing you guys talking. I'm going to miss this. Aww. You, we oh, can keep just, talking. We can our, keep talking. We'll be on Twitch tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> or our nerd light podcast <laughs> that we're going to do. Dude, honestly, we could start one. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm sad you live in Los Angeles. So I know. the only way that we'd be able to talk would so be via podcast. Nerd so light sad. podcast. <laughs> it's going to have to be a uh, cyber friendship. Mm -hmm. so Aren't sad. they all? I know, yeah. These days. <laughs> I've actually, like, I've met so many people through just, like, the online community. Yeah. Like, totally. Actually, Leon's a great example. We knew each other through Twitch, and we're, like, always on the same channels, making art. And then at Create, or I almost said Creative Max, <laughs> Max uh, Creative Conference just a couple weeks ago, we were at the same party, and I didn't know what he looked like because I'd never actually seen him. And on <laughs> his little name tag, it said Mudflap, and I was like, uh, we're Are you friends? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so it's so it's such a weird moment when yeah. you like meet your internet friend, mm -hmm. or like I don't know how to approach it because then sometimes I'm just like, it's like, oh, we uh, follow each other, right? <laughs> it's like we know each other, kind right? Of. We know more about each other than we probably should. So <laughs> I guess we're friends now. Yeah. And I always consider like mutual follows. Like I'm just like we're already friends. Yeah, that's what that means. Yeah. It's like, we're friends. Right. I, can, I can approach you in this way. <laughs> Leon says, it was the weirdest situation. <laughs> totally was. <laughs> um, Ahmad wants to know, how do you rotate the drawing like that? Oh, um, I just press R. Mm -hmm. as a, that's the hotkey. And then I just literally move my cursor around. Right. And then figure out what angle I want to go at. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's yeah. a really helpful tool because it's kind of like drawing traditionally when mm -hmm. you move the paper around. Yeah. Definitely, that's really helpful to actually physically rotate it. But I noticed someone yesterday was asking, after you rotate, how do you reset it? Because you definitely want to have that kind of perfect vertical yeah. again, and you just press escape. I know yeah. there's like also some box you can check up in the toolbar, but just yeah. press escape. Same thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> just keep naming my layers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Show them the real way to do it. <laughs> you should learn from Jenny. She she does it right. Or, or she not. just does it systematically. No real right or wrong way. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no real wrong or right way. <clears throat> Tyler Lemmermeyer, that's awesome that you're working on a uh, mural for a bank. Do Whoa, you, what? Yeah. He was like, I'm not working on your contest, your silly contest, but I <laughs> am doing a real life Just thing. like <laughs> add the crown, like yeah. add a crown to your mural and then yep. it'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Let's see, Liana, I signed up for a class to learn more about making promo type images renders better. Oh, very cool. Ah. So what does that mean exactly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Promo type images. <laughs> Tyler's like, yep, added a crown. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Working on a mural sounds super cool, though. I know. Like, so much pressure, but so cool. Yeah, I mean, like, artists is like James Jean and, mm -hmm. like, Katsu do you know Katsuya Terada? Or? I don't know. No, you don't know. Maybe. He, he's, like, does these amazing, like, ink drawings, and he does it on the spot. Um, you should Whoa. switch. I'll send it to you later. Okay, please but, do. But, uh... <laughs> They work very large scale, um, but James Jean is also like a very popular like mural artist. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. When I see this stuff, I'm like, what? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's not even just murals. He does like fabric, surface design, yeah. paintings, book covers. Just Everything. a master. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Ahmad Caesar's right. It, the rotate tool doesn't actually do anything to your final work. It just changes the orientation yeah. of your canvas. But like if you were to have it upside down and then you saved your image, it would be saved correctly in the right orientation. Yes. Good <laughs> explanation. <laughs> there you go. Oh, is Ruben around? Hello. I love James Jean too. Yeah, there you go, Kathy Lou. Yeah. <laughs> Um, are we going to release our own zine sometime oh, soon? I had no idea we were working on a zine. Wayne keeps saying, like, oh, so when's your podcast? When's your zine? <laughs> are you our promoter? Yeah, like, are you our... Uh, manager? <laughs> yeah, our manager. Welcome. Our Nerdlight manager. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the team. I like how we just, like, impromptu, like, made this, like, new indie company called yeah. Nerdlight. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's canon. It's real. <laughs> it's canon. It's real. <laughs> yeah. It's official. You're making a zine. <laughs> I mean, if we made one, what would it be about? Oh, Childhood God. nostalgia in the Ooh, digital sphere? Ooh, that would sphere? be super cool, actually. Yeah. And then people could submit art and stuff. <gasps> yeah. 
nostalgia. Trademarked. Actually, it's probably already been done, but we'll do it in our Sonic own way. Sonic scene with Maple Story Tales. <laughs> yes. Wayne gets this. Wait, actually, Tales, though? <laughs> tales? Taking it another layer. Maple Story <laughs> Tales? Yeah. Oh, man. So cool. People are submitting to the contest. That's awesome. If you guys have not submitted yet, you have about an hour and 20 minutes-ish. Um to submit your entry. It's just an illustration based on the theme crown. That's today's theme. Got to use Illustrator or Photoshop, the most recent updated version, and then send it to us via either the contest tab, if you're watching us on be.net slash live, best way to watch us, or go to the bit.ly link slash submit Adobe. You got some time, and we'll take a peek at them as the stream goes on. Yes, they're um, always super fun to look yes. at. Yes, and then Jenny has to pick a winner. Yes. The last time you have to Crown do this. Crown the winner. Crown the winner. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. And it's a lot of pressure because the person who wins wins a free year of Creative Cloud. Sometimes I'm thinking like, oh, this is like, this is like do or die for someone. <laughs> like they really want this. It's kind of crazy. Definitely. Um, but if you aren't super into a whole year of Creative Cloud, you can also try a free trial. If you just want to test the waters, see what's up. Trials are so helpful. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I'm grateful for trials. Oh, welcome back, Yuri. She's, or they say, you guys are my favorite duo. We'll miss you guys, too. Oh, so sad. Aww. I'll miss you guys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Now you have to start live streaming. Now I have to, mm-hmm. but it'll just be me. Um playing games or something. Actually, I haven't had time to play games lately. No, isn't it's that? It's so sad. I love them so much, but I can't play them. Or if I want to play them, I'm like, but I could be like walking I my feel, dog. Yeah, or... I feel so guilty because yes. I'm just like, I'm like, I should be uh, working on art right now yeah. or something. <laughs> I don't think that. I'm <laughs> like, I should be doing some laundry. <laughs> just, just those normal things. Welcome just... back, Sarah. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're leaving, Leon. Alrighty, see you later. Bye, Leon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering, he says it's awesome watching on Behance. Are you guys all watching from Behance? So it's be.net slash live. It's kind of the native player. It has all the pops and whistles. Um, you can chat, like you see people are chatting right now. Enter the contest. See the schedule for next week or other upcoming events. Um, because this is a weekly thing. Tuesday through Thursday, every single week, there are live creators and artists from the San Francisco studio doing this kind of thing. Super cool. What's next week? I think it's... Uh, Is it photography? Or? It's either... Ph- UX. UX design. Mm. Thank you, man off camera. <laughs> from off camera. The man behind the curtain. Yes. <laughs> Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, cool. These streams are awesome and inspiring. That's oh, great. Yay, it's UX design. And I'm wondering if anybody in chat is interested in learning more about UX. Because as an illustrator, I don't know a lot about it, but I'm interested because I know it's a big thing. Yeah, I'm interested too. Mm -hmm. Just like the philosophy behind like UI UX is Mm -hmm. super interesting to me. Yeah. Um, And I think it can apply to illustration too. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And especially these days when illustration, like just having a pretty image is rarely the end result. Like for Mm -hmm. you, like you're designing these beautiful backgrounds and concepts, but it's for the end result of being in VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Experience. You are a user experience designer. (laughs) I guess so. Confirmed. (laughs) Someone asked, uh, "What are some tips for being a better designer?" Hmm. Well, I myself am not a designer per se. Yes. I'm an illustrator. But you know the how to design. I guess so. Design process. I guess with illustration, there is like. I guess for me, like, there is some, you would need some sense of design to Mm. implement uh, an illustration. Um, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Well, so one thing that you did is you did your whole sketch on the first day. Yeah. Did the value blocking, color blocking, and then the next day you came in and the composition was totally changed. Like, you cropped the bottom. (laughs) And that's design. That is design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, like, for me, like, positive negative space is really important yeah like for me like putting her lower on the page and having all this area to breathe was really important so it felt more spacious Mm -hmm. and like since I wanted this to have like a very calming feel I wanted to have that feeling that maybe she was in her own world Mm -hmm. and that kind of thing 
Um, so I guess it's not very like design oriented, but mm -hmm. it, composition and that kind of stuff, you would you do need some sense of design to. Yeah. Um, Definitely, there are tenets to design like repetition, um, shape, character, yeah. rhythm, and allowing an eye to move around a piece like that. If your eye moves around a piece very nicely, it's well designed. Your eye doesn't get stuck on one thing that it's not supposed to get stuck on. Like your eye goes immediately right. to the girl because there's the highest contrast there. Yeah, at least for me. Yeah, definitely. And um, making these psychic lines, um, I, I I like using converging Ooh, lines a lot. Psychic um, lines. Because <laughs> um, actually, like I was gonna add some branches like going diagonally here. Mm -hmm. um, that would eventually okay tree <laughs> is in the way let's go all layers the way everybody up. layers everybody but like maybe some branches going in from here and it would kind of make that psychic line pointing to the girl oh, and okay. these lines are pointing to yes. the girl as well mm -hmm. um and in that illustration on your screen mm -hmm. um <laughs> sorry <laughs> pop on over to it yeah there you go. like using those wires and um those telephone lines to yeah. just point towards the center. Right, and it's, it leads your eye. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, leading the eye is really important. Mm -hmm. um, this one is, like, mainly lighting, I guess. Yeah. But there's definitely even the road. Like, yeah. Like, your diagonals that kind of lead you towards the main. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, having diagonals is really... I guess, like, having something stationary and then diagonals is, like... You can really, like, emphasize what you're trying to put the focal point on. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's actually something Sophie was talking about yesterday. Mm -hmm. A big part of designing for animation is having curved lines meeting straight lines. Mm -hmm. um, kind of innately within the mind signifies movement mm -hmm. and uh, dynamic things. Very Blade Runner, Madison says. Yes. I haven't watched the <laughs> yes. new Blade Runner. Me neither. Uh, or the old one. Oh, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's so good, though. Yeah. Yeah, Rashi says, love your style, Jenny. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Diego, so this is a weekly show. Every week we are live from Tuesday to Thursday, 9 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. Um, so big chunk of your week could be spent here with us just learning about design and illustration. Yeah. All kinds of things. Super fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Gabby, so we're back over to her working now. I know, it's very mesmerizing. <laughs> Linda says you're going to have a very long and illustrious, illustrious career. career. Hey, hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope uh, so. Yeah. Munir wants to know if you have a Twitch channel. I do not. Not yet. I think it's time to start one now that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to get in those live streams. Do it. Munir, I'm at Kathleen Illustrated if you want to come hang out sometime. Ooh. I haven't streamed in a while, but now I have fiber optic internet so I'm like I think I have to <laughs> <laughs> I have no excuse now oh this is a good question from Ahmad what is the difference between an illustrator and a designer and I'd love to know chat what do you think Ooh, what, are, a... what are your definitions yeah that's a I know there's a lot of crossover too yes. like people who do illustration and design and there's a lot of crossover with I don't know because then there's a lot of meeting points with illustration and mm -hmm. design um, I guess what you're talking with like shape language yeah. like that's super important with illustration but also with design mm -hmm. um, I don't think I have like a very concrete grasp of like how I would differentiate those two yep like but I guess with illustration it's more organic I yes guess. potentially it's, it's more organic mm -hmm. um, not to say like if you were to if you were like James Jean like that's illustration yeah. not design right um, it's a lot more organic um, I think design's a little more planned but not to say illustration isn't planned mm -hmm. either yeah but I think with design it's like more oriented towards like a product too ah true yeah mm -hmm. so in that way that contributes it to being more planned as well right um, mm -mm. Designers have more limitations, Eileen says. True, true. Mm. Um, when I studied illustration, the like kind of subtitle to the major was visual storytelling. Mm. So for me, I think like you can have a very graphic design e illustrator, or you can have a very illustrious graphic designer. Like there's a total mm. spectrum, mm -hmm. I think. Um, 
but one thing that I think about is design is you have a problem and you're trying to solve it, which is also kind of like an illustration, like you have a story and you want to tell it. Um, there's a lot of overlap. There's a lot of overlap. Mm -hmm. I think it depends just what you want to call yourself. Like I call myself an illustrator because I like drawing and painting and not so much typesetting and that kind of thing. Yeah. There's a, I think there's a lot of terminology with design too. Like, oh yeah, so much like, jargon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we have like composition, lighting, hue, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure graphic design has that too, but yeah. there's also like with typography, there's very specific stuff mm -hmm. that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not gonna try to remember those terms right now yeah, from but, my early graphic design course yeah, in college. Yeah, fundamental year. Mm -hmm. um, but even when you said psychic lines, I was mm -hmm. like, wait, what does that mean? But then in my mind, I think leading lines. Mm. It's the same thing, yeah, just like yeah. different words for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this live? Is this live? What do you think, Richard? Is this recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Are we live? Are we holograms? <laughs> Are we real? We Is this discovered real? that I'm a hologram yesterday. <laughs> yes, yes, actually, yes. Because I live inside <laughs> of Behance. <laughs> and then the final, the final reveal is that every everything's Ooh, <laughs> even you are. <laughs> uh, Ashley says I said opacity in a group of non-designers the other day, and they looked at me like I made the word up. And what? They were like transparency. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, totally. I find that um, people get the word opaque mixed up a lot. Like some people mm. think it means completely transparent. Yeah. Some people think it means what it really means, which is not transparent at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, so many words. Let's just draw pictures and stop using words. I agree. We all just start using playing Pictionary whenever we try to talk. Yeah, let's <laughs> go back to pictographs. <laughs> um, George says, I, call, I hear people calling gradients ombres all the time. Ombres, that's so funny. Yeah. I love your gradient hair. I, I, I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gradient like a sunset. Yeah. Actually, at the Adobe like store, the merch store, you can get a t-shirt that says, I see gradients where other people see sunsets or something uh. like that. It's so nerdy That's and delicious. So <laughs> Bad hombres. <laughs> are you alive? Yes. Confirmed. Are you? Are we alive? <clears throat> Very cool. I really liked hearing all of your guys' different thoughts about designing and illustrating. So different. Yeah. I need to read like a book on that probably. I'm sure there's like so many different yeah. ways to differentiate the two. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And if you have um, contest submissions, you can submit them via our bit.ly. So it's bit.ly slash submit adobe. Or just go to be.net slash live, which is where you watch it on Behance, and click on the contest tab. You have about an hour and five minutes to get your contest submissions in for Jenny's stream. Yes. But then we have Corey and Sophie afterwards, so there'll be two more uh, opportunities to win. Um, and the person who wins will win a CC subscription for a year for free, which is amazing. And you can do all the designing and illustrating you want. Yeah. You don't have to make a decision. You can do both. Blackstone says, looks good now. Oh, look at that glow at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, sometimes I like to add like a little like warm glow in the bottom, or coming in from the top to add a little more atmosphere. I'm going to work on pulling up some of these uh, contest submissions. Ooh. Yes. We'll take a peek in a couple minutes at the ones that have been submitted so far. But don't worry, you still have about an hour. Um, and then at the end, we'll look at all of them again and make our decision. Or make your decision. Mm. I have <laughs> no say in the matter. I'm just a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny is a master of light. It seems to come so naturally for her. I agree, Wayne. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning all the time, though. I always feel like there's always so much to improve on. And I'm just like, like when I look at other artists, I'm just like, oh crap. Like, <laughs> oh dang. Like, oh dang. They're better than me. They're better than me. I need to keep on learning. Well, that's that's always, good. Yeah, it's always the exciting part of like, I feel like I'll, like, I'll never get bored with mm -hmm. anything. It's like, there's so much to learn all the time. And we were talking about this during lunch, actually. Oh, yeah. 
like there's so much to learn like i want to learn you know sound production mm -hmm, I learn, mm -hmm. like even learning some coding would be cool yes that's not just neopets coding mm, no <laughs> no <laughs> that's all i know <laughs> i'm not trying to customize my user profile <laughs> yeah, midnight jump 331 <laughs> oh goodness i'm not just trying to add a music box <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Oh, rat. Aw, Neo. Pets. Pets. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Osu game? Uh, have you heard of hmm. Osu game for drawing tablets? So, Grant, is that the game? It's kind of like the rhythm game. Yeah, my friend plays Osu. <laughs> yeah, I tried and it was very, I tried actually at like an arcade. So if I had an Osu like machine, but why are you? Are you a pro, Grant? Can you teach us your ways? Kiki wants to know, how did you create that bottom filler? Is it an adjusted solid fill or it is, is it actually a gradient? It is a gradient. Oh. Uh, actually, let me redo that, actually. Um, let me go through that process again. Usually I choose a pretty warm color and I press G for gradient and then I'll pull it at an angle, like, depending on where I want the light to come from. And then you have that, which is obviously not what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you press, I usually use color dodge, like, like I've Ooh. mentioned pre previously. And then I tamper down the opacity of it, so it's something pretty subtle. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how I usually add some more atmosphere and lighting to my piece. Um, so yeah, that's what I usually do. And then I'll Very name nice. it like a bottom light filter or something mm -hmm. and sometimes like I'll if I do a lot of like color dodge layers like I'll mark it as red and like that's my filter layer or something like that mm -hmm. um, so yeah that's how I got there um, very nice yeah. sometimes when I tap G it takes me to the paint bucket tool because they're like on the same they're uh, the same shortcut yeah, yeah, yeah. so if that ever happens to you just press shift G and it'll take you to the other tool yeah there's like some tools buried beneath each other right and you have to press box. shift to end yes. the hotkey to mm -hmm. get there mm -hmm. like cycle with, through yeah <clears throat> Grant says no you don't play but your daughter plays the game with her Wacom Pro tab that you bought for her you didn't buy it for that game but she's pretty good at it <laughs> she's gonna become a pro OS player and you'll be like that Wacom Pro tablet was worth was worth all the money <laughs> it's funny how things work and somebody said if you do get done early maybe you can give like a quick run through of a couple of the techniques you use specifically. Yeah, maybe I'll do like a summary or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then I'll draw my maple story character. <laughs> <laughs> Please do it. Um, we're going to take a peek at some submissions. Let me make sure I have them all pulled up. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. And then we can look at some. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very cool. Right? I love the playing card yeah. aesthetic. The girl is so cute. Mm -hmm. And he looks so grumpy. <laughs> like, why am I the one upside down? Mm -hmm. I love the texture in this, mm -hmm. the background. So nice. <laughs> Michael says, please draw your Maple Story character. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is yours. <laughs> yes, I submitted this. This is Jenny's <laughs> submission. There's no crown. I'm sorry. You I am disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> you must leave now. It's like a good Oh, wow. See if we can zoom out a little bit. Boop, boop. Oh my goodness, I love the stylization of this. Yeah, love those patterns and textures. And how this isn't just like a golden crown. Yeah. I wonder what it symbolizes. Whoever's in chat, let us know what it means. Yeah, I would like to know the emotion. Oh. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yes. I love the stylization of the figures. Mm-hmm. Mm. It reminds me of so many things at one time. Yeah, like, I'm trying to like, like think of like what it's specifically reminding me of, like, yeah. like those, like Egon Schiele mm -hmm. like drawings. Totally, um, very Schiele mixed with like kind of Picasso. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying his to his earlier like, stuff. Out. Like, there's and, a lot of cool. Yeah, yeah it also kind of reminds reminds me of like the Secret of Kells. Yeah, like I love the geometry. Secret of Kells. Mm -hmm. How to Train Your Dragon, that kind yeah. of like, shape character, and then this little hand. So nice. Yeah. Little detail. It's like such a delicate pose, too. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, also oh, nailed it. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yes, man, everyone is so talented. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Everyone is. 
And Miriam, um, if you want to submit to the project, you have about an hour left. Just go to be.net slash live and click on the contest tab or go to bit.ly slash submit Adobe. Oh, cute. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, a most precious crown is the title. Oh, most precious. Oh, it is the most precious. Heart. Yeah. Don't warm it too much or it will melt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Wow. Let's click on that. It's a full body, mm. third half. Very nice. Very cool. This reminds me of like Thor, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of. And this would be a cool like costume design mm. piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Costume design. That'd be super cool. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Like, definitely something that I'm interested in. Yeah, wow. I mean, one of my old professors, uh, previous professors, like she worked in costume design, and I was like, that's such a cool thing mm -hmm. to do. Oh, I love how the little crown just kind of like flails. Just boop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can tap your screen so your computer doesn't yeah. go to sleep. There we go. Good yes. Call. And I love how it's kind of in a little vignette. Mm -hmm. I find that I have a hard time adding backgrounds to illustrations. Mm -hmm. So adding this kind of framing elements, it's a nice way to kind of yeah, get yeah. around that. <laughs> I remember when I was like in high school, I would always put my illustrations in like a little circle. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, it looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> do your thing. Let's Ooh. see, Rashi. Oh, interesting. This is really nice. Oh, I see. It's like a more abstracted mm -hmm. shape of a crown. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very painterly. Yeah. Oh, cool. A natural oh, crown. This is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is like a like a traditional. It reminds me of like a traditional like Chinese or like Japanese mm -hmm. like watercolor painting. Yes, definitely. And I think this is maybe by Luke, but mm. you submitted something for the previous stream and it was really beautiful too. Mm. And then there's one more crown. Oh, we already looked at that one. So here is the mural sketch. Wow. I forget who it was in chat, but they were working on it. Yeah, right, I was yeah. trying to find the crown. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Where, do you, where, where is it? Oh, oh there, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh man, I want to find me in here. Where am I? Am I the dog? <laughs> am I this thing? Oh, I would totally be that thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So this, this is, is really cool. Yeah, the sketch for the mural for the bank. Very So awesome. this is just a sketch, right? Like, is mm -hmm. this the final or? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, because it'd be cool either way to see this executed on like a public building wall. Yeah, yeah. When you're done, you should tweet it with the hashtag Adobe Live. So yeah. you can take a peek at it. Very cool. Nice job, you guys. Nice so, job. Yeah, these are the submissions so far. We've only been streaming for about 50 minutes, so you have about an hour, 55 minutes left to get it submitted. 55 minutes. Mm -hmm. 55 minutes, guys. Yeah, okay, great mural. Love the crown, right? Oh, okay, so that was by Tyler. Show us when you're done, Tyler. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, if that's just a sketch, then I'm like, the final is going to be like mm -hmm. amazing because <laughs> the sketch is amazing. So many great submissions. Yeah. <laughs> People are voting for you for the most personable illustrator. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, it's just because I talk about Mabel's story. Like, I find a common ground. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just you're not scared to just be yourself. I ho yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess, yeah, I, like when I talk about like, nerd light stuff i'm just like people actually like re a lot of people actually really enjoy that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and it actually really helps like liking those things because it's like you end up connecting with a lot a lot of people mm -hmm. <laughs> totally and it's not something that people always like to talk about because they're like is this silly I don't yeah know. it's like no celebrate it yeah we all played real pets it. it's fine yeah <laughs> Blackstone wants to know who is the king of designers for you? Like the best designer for illustration. King of designers. Or queen, whatever. Best designer for inspiration. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I love Kevin Dart's work. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, he was a huge influence to me during school, um, or th towards the tail end of school when I found his work through his sh uh, short film Forms in Nature, mm -hmm. which he worked on with like Stefan Coedel, who did. Like the animation for it, um, but yeah, he's pretty. He's one of my primary influences. But there's a lot of people that influence me too. Um, but he's like foremost. Like if you see his work, then it's like you know that he influenced my work. Mm -hmm. um, right, and you work with him at Chrome. Chromosphere. Chrom yeah, I was like Chromosome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Chrom <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've been doing some freelance work with them, and they're like. 
all the artists there are amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm super grateful to have been, to have the opportunity to work with them because I'm just like I adore your guys' work. It's like oh, you have taken pity to a, <laughs> like a, a plebeian like me. Oh no, I'm sure they would never take pity. They would never hand out money to someone they thought <laughs> <laughs> was just a plebeian. <laughs> Uh, Mary wants to know what university did you go to? I went to uh, Cal State Long Beach. So it's just this uh, small little, not small, it's a little public school that's um, down in Southern California. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I did meet a lot of great people there. Um, I definitely, I keep thinking of like how, how all these like interactions with people, like I never would have become the artist I am today if, I, if not for like meeting certain people at a certain time. Yes. So it's always crazy to Fate. meet. Oh, I love Pascal Campion. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were is. talking about him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's also one of my favorites. And he's just like, if you listen to interviews with him, he's just such a genuine person. Mm. I'm just like, well, he's very genuine about his craft too, um, and very humble. Mm. Um, so, and it shows through his work too. Yeah, definitely. You definitely feel something. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of his work is about like small little interactions. Yeah. With people, like, little moments of kind of quotidian life. Yeah. And I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Very nostalgic, kind of like what you're saying you liked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wayne says, don't minimize your education. You could be the artist that makes their art program super reputable now. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> But I know um, Jennifer Yeun Nelson, who directed Kung Fu Panda, also went to Cal State Long Wow. Long, so. Yeah. That's a little awesome. tidbit of mm -hmm. knowledge. There you go. Is there someone who doesn't like Pascal Campion? Probably yeah, not. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, like, his uh, work is super, like, accessible to, like, people who aren't even illustrators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just, like, if I showed it to, like, one of my friends who, like, does construction, they'd be like, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Right. Um, something magical in there mm -hmm. and, I don't know we were talking about this yesterday but I feel like like making art it's like that's the kind of thing you want to do with your art just like to get that kind of reaction out of people mm -hmm. and it's how you connect with others I guess as an artist yeah and I notice as you're making this like it doesn't seem like you have a totally streamlined yeah. Um, process. You're kind of just like feeling it and yeah. you feel like what goes here. And it, I think that comes through in the piece. Like it I hope comes so. from your feelings <laughs> and your intuition. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Also, a lot of studying. Yes, a lot of studying prior. Mm -hmm. But there's still a lot of just like, oh, this color doesn't work here. Let's try this color. Mm -hmm. Or like, let's try this shape instead. Um, yeah. I'm always very envious of people who are a little more systematic than me, though, because mm. then I'm just like, you can plan this like all ahead. I don't know. Like an artist like Kim Jong Gi. Do you know? Oh yeah, yes. yeah. That is one that but, I do know. <laughs> yeah, like um, he's a person where it's just like every mark his he makes is calculated. Yes. Like I think with like one of his talks, he was saying like like prior to even starting an illustration, I have like seventy seventy percent of it like visualized. In oh my goodness. Mind. And I'm like, all right, dude, you're I have a no genius. Idea. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys don't know, he, I don't know how to explain it. It seems like these off the top of his head, just beautiful brush, ink, yeah. yeah, inked illustrations that are in perfect perspective, are so dynamic. Yeah. And he just, boom, whips it out. Yeah. It's he amazing. doesn't do any sketches prior. Mm -mm. Um, he, and he just, he works pretty large scale. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of public drawings where he's just yeah. like, all right, here's a white piece of paper. I'm just going to start drawing now. Yeah. Or just a wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like pretty crazy because then I feel like I think he worked as a comic book artist at first um, oh. prior to actually doing what he's doing now which is super interesting because it's like oh yeah that definitely seems like that would be the case right gotta draw very quickly very well mm -hmm. man uh, Ishmael wants to know did you make this illustration from a real photo like is it a real moment or did you come up with it from your imagination I looked at I think I showed my reference photo mm -hmm. pri or reference folder yesterday but I tend to look at a lot of different photos and try to like combine that with also what I've seen in real life and um, so here I was just looking at the way the lighting was hitting like seeping into this cafe in Oakland 
I think. Yes. <laughs> I think it's the Pete's in Oakland. By Lake Merritt in Oakland. <laughs> we'll Maybe. <see. laughs> um, and also just looking at all artists, other artists' works and seeing how they executed something. Mm -hmm. um, so I was looking at a lot of concept art for Feast. Um, like something like this. Just like trying to understand like what do you actually see when you're sitting at a cafe window yeah. or study study room and looking out in the window. Um, but yeah, it's like a culmination of a bunch of photos. But you can definitely see how they like these little photos have like influenced um, the work that the piece that I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's awesome. That's something that I love about illustration is you can make like the best space in your mind. All of the cutest little knickknacks or whatever you want on the walls, like it's completely yours. Yeah. And it doesn't exist in uh, the real world. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And that artist was uh, Kim Jung Ji, right? Kim, yeah, Kim Jung Gi, I think. Oh, Gi. Yeah, G I. Gi. <laughs> Somebody in chat, I think, posted it. Mm. Yes, it is beautiful. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I see people um, are talking about California, Californian dialects. Where are you guys all from? We are in San Francisco, California right now. Mm -hmm. You're from South California, yeah. Southern. Yeah. Southern California. What do they call it? SoCal? We call it SoCal. All yeah. right. I'm a new. You guys say SF, right? I think so. Or... Definitely not San Fran. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Because then I did say <laughs> and then my friend was like, you're going to look like such a nerd in front of everybody. <laughs> Apparently people don't say Cali either. Is that a thing? You know, yeah, we don't, like, say, I don't no say Cali. Cali. <laughs> oh, God, my friend Kevin's here. Hey, Kevin. He's starting. He's going to start singing Smash Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there he goes. Uh, Glorin's from Greece. Gotcha, Peru. Don't say Cali. Don't say Cali. Don't no say Cali. Cali. No Cali. <laughs> Unless you're not from California. Well, I'm not. So I think I'm innocent in this situation. Yeah. Columbia. You are forgiven. Forgiven. Thank you. Ooh, Miriam's from Kuwait. We got, oh. just don't say Frisco. San Francisco Frisco. <laughs> I'm going to start calling it Frisco. Hey, guys, I'm going to Frisco <laughs> this week. Frisk town. <laughs> Montana, you're Chinese, but you live in Illinois now. Minnesota, New York, yeah. Japan. Oh, another like, Los Angeles mm -hmm. person. Sweden, wow. Russia. Um, Los Angeles, Romania, Mexico, Brazil. Oh, goodness Boston. gracious. Boston, nice. Scotland. I think Corey is from the East Coast. I think he's from Philadelphia. I heard it in his voice. I was like, <laughs> you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> you're not from <laughs> around these parts. <laughs> Diana says, Minnesotans say, yeah, you betcha. Yeah, you betcha. Alex, Ohio, represent. Ecuador. Pakistan, Nashville, O-H-I-O. Uh, Gustavo wants to know, how much will you be selling this beauty for? Approximately huh? how much? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I never put a price on these, because it's no. also because it's digital, so it's usually like, it's like, oh, I'll just sell a print of this, mm. which I haven't actually like really set up a print shop yet. I've been meaning to, I just haven't had time to. Yeah. Um, I do have a Society6, but I've... I want to put more love into my print shop rather than going through a third party. Um, yeah. Great. Have you, do you have any tips or thoughts about best ways to sell your work online? I, <laughs> no, not much experience. I'm still figuring it out. Yeah. I mean, if anyone in the audience has advice about selling prints and stuff, I would be super glad to have that advice. Because um, it's just like there's so many different platforms to sell. Mm -hmm. Like. I know, like, some people use Ticktail, Store Envy. Mm -hmm. um, Squarespace has a store. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of using that, actually, because yeah. it seems like <laughs> Lena has abandoned her society. So, oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. I heard that they make it so easy to sell prints and pillows and clocks and things, but you just don't get a very large cut. Yeah. Um, and it's like you can't personalize your packages too, which is like something I would really like to do, yeah. but I don't know if I have time for. Write little notes and things. Yeah, like, oh, thank you so much. Like, because mm -hmm. I'm like, obviously, anyone who buys a print is like, it's like, oh, you want the extra stuff. Yeah. Um, right. To support an artist, which is like super cool. Mm hmm. Right. So we're about at the top of the hour. It's noon here in San Francisco, and that means we're going to be doing a random giveaway soon. 
Ooh, couple minutes. So uh, what you will win and how you will win it is you will win three posters that were created live here on Adobe Live by three amazing illustrators. We've got Robzilla's Mr. T right on the left. We've got Jingwei's Pool Party in the middle. And then uh, Christine Heron's Travel Tags. <laughs> What? Hype time. Hype, Hype time. time. Hype time almost. <laughs> Don't get too crazy yet. So yeah, we have the three real versions so you know that we are not in fact holograms. You will get these <laughs> three. And the beautiful thing is you get all three. You don't have to pick one. All of them. Mr. T, pool party, travel tags. So the way that you win is you just have to be here. You have to be at be.net slash live. That's where you can chat with us. Um, in a minute, we'll get the hype train rolling, and all you have to do is say something in chat. You can type hype, you can type um, Jenny's awesome, you can type Maple Story, <laughs> you can type whatever you want. Robzilla, I know, he's amazing. So all of these artists were here live in studio, and they created these with uh, a studio audience, which is you. So cool, let's get that hype train going. All you have to do is chat, uh, chat in the chat, say anything you want, <laughs> chat in the chat. Chat in the chat. And we'll pick a random winner. So let's get the hype going. Jenny's awesome, totally. Aw, thanks guys. Hey Ming Zhang, welcome back. I like the Jenny is awesome. Oh, uh, everyone's so nice. <laughs> hype, 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 hype. Yeah, so say something in chat, put that hype in the chat and we will pick a random winner. And this is the last time you'll be picking. Well, I guess you'll be here know, for the random so winner. But don't worry. If you don't win this time, you have two more chances today to win. Yes. Two more chances, guys. <laughs> Pity the fool who doesn't enter this contest. <laughs> Pity the fool. Yay. Look at all that hype going. It's flying. Hype, please. Thank you. <laughs> so much hype. Yes. This is always so fun because it's just literally like stacking yes. on top of each other. I love it. <laughs> It'd be crazy if chat was like this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you would be have to be like reading yeah. like. I don't know. I don't even know what would, what my hologram eyes would do. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Hype train. Someone says Jenny is marvelous. Aww. How now brown cow? How now brown cow? <laughs> I love this all even if I don't win. It's a great sportsmanship. Looks like Black Friday over here. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> and we have a winner. It is appearing magically in our Magic 8 ball. Dun da da dun. Dun da da dun. Dun da da dun. Dun da da dun. Almost. All right, I think we have a winner. You wanna, you wanna read that name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, just like yesterday. Yes. Simon. And I'm sorry if I pronounced this incorrectly. Per Perathener? Wow, good job, Simon. You Congrats, won. Congrats, Simon. Yeah, say something in chat so we can congratulate you. Yeah. You are the winner of the three awesome live illustration posters. Um, the team will be in touch with you, so be on the lookout in your messages. And we'll get these over to you just in time for Black Friday or the holiday season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay, congrats, Simon. Congrats, Simon. And like I said, do not fret. If you do not win, you have two more chances to win today during Corey's stream and during Sophie's stream. Um, and we also have the contest going. So that was a random giveaway, but the contest requires a little bit more. All you have to do is make an illustration around the theme of crown. Uh, use the most recent updated versions of Illustrator or Photoshop to make that illustration. And then send it to us either via bit.ly slash submit Adobe or go to be.net slash live which is the best way to watch uh, the stream and chat and click on the contest tab. Yes. Boom. When will we announce the winner to the contest? Let's see, in about 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes. Get those submissions 40 in. 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. They keep flying in. It's amazing. Grant says, Jenny is my most newest favorite artist. Most and newest. Too. Woo! <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Yes, thanks I, for being here. We're honored. Definitely. Hello, Glenroy. Welcome. Grant, are you also an artist? And then anyone else in chat? Are you guys artists, illustrators, rocket toilet designers? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
No envy, you guys. We're the best community and we should motivate each other. Definitely Aww. plus designs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lasad, it is not too late to enter the contest. It is too late to win the giveaway, but there will be two more giveaways during Corey and Sophie's streams. And then we're doing a contest winner during this stream, and then one during Corey and one during Sophie's. Super exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got graphic designers, illustrators, cartoonists, UX designers, watercolor and ink illustrator. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I should definitely get back into traditional. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. And it's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Streamer, designer, and photographer. Oh, awesome, Michael. Do you Whoa. stream a Mabel story? <laughs> Do you stream a gameplays? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of like the last game that I've like really, really played. Yeah. Because I remember like me and my coworker, we played Overcooked. Have you played that? Is that the it's you like play with your friends? And yeah, you yeah, ship? yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And then you have to like cut onions mm -hmm. and like, oh my god, it was so stressful. It was so fun. I heard it's stressful. So my friends were playing it, and I went over to their house and I brought my dog, and my dog just like ran right into the middle of them playing it. Like we're stepping on their controllers and just <laughs> ruined everything. <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, he's just a dog, and he's evil. He meant to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you stream Neopets? Oh my god, I should. Like, honestly, I want to get back on there. Oh the interface hasn't changed since, no. like, honestly, since, like, what, like, 2002? I was gonna <laughs> say, like, can you stream a browser-based game? Yeah, like, or I guess, like, if you're playing one of the games, like, um... Oh, yeah. What was one that I would use, always play, like, I forgot, like, I Hasty Jump? Like, do you remember that one? Mm, I don't know. I would do, like, Scorchy Slot. Uh, uh-huh. Um, um, which one is fun? Or Neg Dash was that one? Neg Dash, maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> or um, the there's one where it's like it would be like the snake egg. Game. That's what I was thinking. Is, is that it? Okay, I don't okay. know if that's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, I would play that a lot. <laughs> that was so hard. Yeah. Like, after a while. That was so fun though. Oh my god. Oh god I'm like, no, <laughs> I know. I'm like during my lunch break, maybe <laughs> I'll play. I'm gonna <laughs> revive my old account. Yes. Man, I actually emailed them like last week. Oh, being like, I don't know my password, but I need to get into my account. Like, please help me. I thought they had like a promo or something. Or because then my friends had like received an email from them. Like, oh yeah. After a long time, I don't know. <gasps> um, but I have no idea. I was so young, like I don't even know what email is connected. Yeah, I'm just like, what email did I use? I like, did I even have email? No, it definitely doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's probably some like. <laughs> Uh, when will the contest be revealed? You might have to leave. So we have about 40 minutes, a little less than 40 minutes until Ginny picks a winner. Yes. Um, but if you win while you're not here, the team will just contact you. So no worries. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, I'm adding texture right now. And after that, it's like, it seems it's pretty finished. Yeah, check that out. I love the motion of the little leaves. Yeah, I added that at the very end, but I always like adding, like I mentioned before, like just like elemental motion in the background mm -hmm. or foreground. Um, I was even thinking of putting like plants in the foreground too to like really oh. frame, frame it. Oh, um, like super blurred out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, maybe I'll add that later, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I think this is so amazing because you did this all live over three days, so there wasn't a lot of continuity going on. Yeah. <laughs> People were watching, I was talking to you literally the whole time, and this is like, in my opinion, a portfolio-ready piece of work. Oh it's god, beautiful. that's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. Natural live streamer, I think. Natural, not. <laughs> <laughs> Once I start drawing my Maple Story character. That's when it's really gonna come together. <laughs> Is this a custom texture brush? Yes. Um, I, I remember, I'm so sorry, I don't remember where I downloaded it from, but I <laughs> believe I downloaded it from like a concept artist, but I would have to go through my old, old files again right. to really dig it up again. Yeah. But it's like this nice speckle brush that yeah. I found. And I think if you just search up speckle brush, you can find oh, a yeah. pretty decent one. Cause all it is doing is like adding these very nice, kind of painterly like speckles like if you were to like like uh you know how like how when oil painters like they do the thing they flick the, they thing. Flick the thing yeah 
So yeah. you kind of get that kind of effect, and I really like it because it kind of breaks up the colors. Yeah. And gives it some more dimension. Definitely. I don't know if you guys know this in chat, but uh, in Kyle T. Webster's Mega Pack, he has some really nice like splat and texture brushes, some gritty brushes, and if you have updated to the most recent version of Photoshop CC, which is 2018, you have access to his Mega Pack, which is over 1,200 brushes strong. Um, all you have to do is go within the brush menu within Photoshop, click get more brushes, and it'll take you to a browser, and they're yours. So good. Mm-hmm. So good. Craziness. Yeah, the brush doesn't feel too uniform. I agree. Yeah, and it's like super subtle. Like It is. Um, like, it adds a lot of character though, I think. Um, at least for me. Yeah. I think some people struggle with using these kind of very specific textured brushes mm. too much. Yeah, yeah. Like there's like a grass brush in Photoshop mm -hmm. and it's very obvious when you use it. Yeah. Um, do you have any tips on how to like use them sparingly and well i think when you're using like a brush like the grasp brush it's like it's a very patterned brush mm -hmm. it's like it's looks like it's stamped on yes um and i think if you're to use that brush like to break it up you can use it and then paint directly on it to give it some more variation so it doesn't look so stiff right i guess um but for me when i use textures I literally just use it as like accent touches. Like I don't use a brush to define an entire part of an illustration. Right. Like um, these these little speckle marks are literally just like I don't know. They add just like very tiny subtle touches to the illustration. Mm -hmm. um, so and they, I use it pretty sparingly. Yeah, right. They're not making up entire pieces. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not disinterested. I'm just looking at all of these contest submissions. <laughs> There's a million and a half, and that's amazing. Keep them coming. <clears throat> oh, Tyler, you're out of here. Very cool. Oh, bye, Tyler. Yes, we loved your mural sketch. Yeah, super cool. Definitely. Really hyped. So much Super hype. Super hype. I'm wondering for you guys in chat, what gets you really hyped when Ooh. you see it? Like what kind of art, what kind of inspiration? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. I really love like children's drawings. When Ooh. I see those, I'm like, that is pure magic. So inspiring. Mm -hmm. Especially with like children or so, like they have no like inhibition at all. Mm -mm. So it's like when you see like, a child just like do it being as creative as possible it's like oh shoot I've forgotten <laughs> that part yeah, of me <laughs> I never thought I would but did but did mm -hmm. deepness and depth gets you hyped deepness and depth <laughs> Madison Angus super into Mary Blair yes mm, yeah I Most love Mary definitely Blair. 1950s and 60s art it's so designed. It's like a highly designed yeah. period of art, but it also has a little bit of childishness. Mm -hmm. And her color palettes are super mm -hmm. defining of what Disney ended up being. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And just, it's like crazy because then sometimes her color palettes, I'm like, I would have never thought of describing snow that way or like right. something like that. Completely innovative. Innovative. <laughs> I think one film, at least that I can think of right now, that harkens back to Mary Blair, but maybe in a more subtle way, is Pocahontas. Mm. Like, the beautiful kind of bluish mm -hmm. backgrounds, yeah. but then bright magenta pops, uh -huh. like in the leaves and the wind. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, graffiti art, like really, really nicely done graffiti. Yes, mm. inspiring. Oh, Malika Favre and Tom Hogomat? Hogomat? So those are illustrators that inspire you? Oh, wait, no, I do know Tom Hogamat. Mm -hmm. um, I follow him on Instagram. Oh, nice. But, uh, I love his work, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. 
It's like there's so many contemporary illustrators that I really love. Like I love I Jillian Tamaki. Yes. Yeah, yeah you mm-hmm. love Jillian Tamaki. I, yes. I, I love her stuff. So, and have you read her graphic novel? Mm-hmm. Like this one, Summer? Yep, I was yeah, just going to say yeah. the one about the summer oh, camp and the, yeah, not yeah. the camp, but um, yes. Their vacation home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, that's like, I think she really utilized the graphic novel medium like really well. Yeah. Um, and it talks about mm-hmm. very like deep topics. It yeah. is deep, mm-hmm. but it's like in a light. Nerd light. <laughs> Nerd light. <laughs> it's like kind of from a child's point of view mm-hmm. or like an adolescent's point of view. Yeah. And I guess like for me, like growing up, I'm like, I definitely experienced the same feelings as the protagonist had felt. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is such a good graphic novel for a like, young teenage girl. Yes. Definitely very nostalgic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your favorite. Yes. Um, Salvador Dali paintings, most definitely. Uh, anime, Hunter x Hunter, Spirit of the Way, Naruto, Death Note. Hello, friend. <laughs> keep, keep it coming. Yes. Keep it coming. Oh, man. Full and Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That made me feel so many things. Oh, God. I it was so... scared me. Oh, my God. I was so invested in that anime. Yes. Like. Yeah. I think that was probably the first anime I watched that I, like you said, was invested in. I guess so, like, yeah. it was like the first, it's like, for me, it was just like, I got so invested with the characters and their emotions and what they're feeling. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh god, we're gonna turn this into like an anime analysis. It's what inspires us, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that shows that it was successful. Yeah. It made us really invested and in care about mm-hmm. what happened. Yeah, and I feel like, I mean, this does, uh, Miyazaki does this too. Mm-hmm. Um, he doesn't make his villain characters, like, purely evil no he makes them very sympathetic yeah and then you kind of see that they have human qualities as well which right is what i loved about full metal alchemist um yeah definitely uh you lost how she made the reflect oh which reflect are you talking about oh uh, I'd made a little reflection of the girl oh. in the, win- the window so um how do you do how do I do <laughs> <laughs> um what I did was me kind of like just redo it then um it's really simple like sometimes it's just literally just copying the layer that I had and this is something that I do with like my rainy day pieces too it's like you do the first half then you have the ground and then you just reflect what's in the top portion of the rainy day oh. um, so Let's see. I merged this group. Actually, I made a copy of this. So I dragged all these layers to this uh, new layer button, which copies all those layers. Mm -hmm. And then I merged this group. Um, Then I kind of just uh, merge all these layers that are being clipped to that layer. Um, So I press Control E, which is a super helpful shortcut um, if you just want to merge layers really quickly. Mm -hmm. So now I have a copy of this girl. Um, and I can drag that anywhere. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> um, and then I bring her to the bottom of my layer hierarchy, and then I kind of shift her over, and I play with the opacity. And there, I mean, playing with the opacity, you can get really cool effects. And then I kind of like shift it, and then I blur it a bit. And you have a bit of reflection. Um, let's see. Let me see if I angle. Ooh. Yeah. And maybe tempering the sound a little more because I want it a little more subtle. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's how I got the reflection there. Um, just to really play with the fact that she's sitting in front of a window. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Have you ever come across where in a reflection you have to actually like draw things that you didn't see before, like her ear or like her eyes? Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah. Like sometimes you have to like redraw some things. In this case, it's like I'm just doing like the silhouette of her back. But, mm-hmm. like, if it's a very specific reflection, it's like, oh, you're probably going to have to edit that copy. That yes. You did. Yeah. Um, Definitely. It's, I feel like it's rarely that you just like option drag, you're done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's always some editing that goes into it if you're doing, if you have to like copy a layer. Yeah. Um. Des says, you just blew their mind with that tip. Whoa, Whoa. I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you guys have any other tips that 
either have blown your mind recently or that you think might blow other people's minds like when i learned you could press a button <laughs> it did a thing <laughs> i don't know i don't have a good example <laughs> oh boy oh you love james jean he is a genius a genius a james genius <laughs> oh, oh. he wears his jeans he's a genius <laughs> Uh, Manuel says this resembles an Edward Hopper piece. Does that come to mind? Oh, really? Last name sounds familiar. Let me look. Yeah, I, I, I do know Edward Hopper, but I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm just like, oh, it definitely mm -hmm. would have some of that flavor to it. This one is my favorite one. Mm -hmm. This is actually hanging in the art museum in Columbus, Ohio. That's where I'm oh. from. Mm -hmm. I think maybe that's why I like it so much. Like, <sighs> I've seen it. In real life. Mm -hmm. I see it on free on Sundays. For free on Sundays. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how it's like sometimes when you see like a piece in real life, it's like, oh, it's like I get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And or you can it just see... makes you that much more like connected to the piece. Mm -hmm. I think. And even mystified. Mm -hmm. Like I see how they did it and I still don't understand. Yeah. Lena, I totally agree. So on Jenny's Instagram, she has a very similar illustration, but from the front. Yeah, yeah. And I so was like, <laughs> what? I mean, like, when I was thinking of, like, oh, what should I do for the last year? I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do the back view of, like, mm -hmm. something similar to that. Yeah, right. Uh, then That's I'll good. put the two pieces together. Mm -hmm. And boom, you got a great Behance project. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, great. People are checking out Lena's work, and they love it. Yeah, Lena's really great. Mm -hmm. yeah, shout out to Lena. Hey, Lena. <laughs> Uh, Grant, the healing brush tool blew your mind when it came out. Awesome. What mm. about it did you like so much? Tell us more. Let's see. We've got about 20 minutes until we're going to force Jenny to pick a winner of all of these amazing submissions. So stick around for that. And if you haven't submitted yet, you got 20 minutes. Just click on the contest tab above the uh, chat and you just have to make an illustration about the theme of crown. So use Photoshop or Illustrator CC 2018, make that beautiful illustration, and then share it to us either in the contest tab or bit.ly slash submit Adobe. 20 minutes. You could start now. <laughs> I think you could do it. Hey, Julie, how you doing? You're still listening and working away. You've been here all three days, I think. Anybody else oh, wow. been here all three days? Let's see, Yuri was here yesterday, I know. Mm, Patrick Dean, tip for Jenny, Control add J. Command J to your shortcuts. Control J to your... Oh, does that copy does it? it oh, it does, it copies it. Oh, and pastes Whoa, it Whoa, that's top. crazy. Whoa. Does it copy that specific layer? Whoa, yeah, and it copies it right on top oh, of it. Oh, so copy and then Whoa. paste in place. That's great. Okay. I need to write that down somewhere. Hey, nice. Come in, Jay. Thank you so much. George has been here all three days. Nice. Linda, Glorin, totally been here all three days. You even won, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, Abdullah loves content aware, Phil. I agree. It oh, is actual yeah. magic. Uh, Kevin, oh yeah, you've been here too. Munir, definitely seen your name. William Norwood, awesome. Uh, Nicole, definitely, all three days. <laughs> Pascal, all day, all day. <laughs> all day, all day. Yes. Wow. Wow, mm. that's crazy. I yeah. know. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Seriously, thank you. Making yeah. our jobs real fun, real easy. Mm -hmm. uh, Caesar says he wishes that these were on the weekends. That'd be nice, right? Oh, yeah. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Oh god, <laughs> 24 7 live streams. I'm a hologram. I don't have to eat or yeah. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Eileen, I've been here for two days. Daylight savings confused you, so you missed day one. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't even know daylight savings was happening. Yeah, I like barely remembered. Right. And then my coworker reminded us, and yeah. I was like, oh, thank goodness. Yes, that is happening. I only noticed because I looked at the clock like after midnight, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> uh, Grant, you've been here all three days at work. That's amazing. Oh, awesome. Uh, someone says weekends would be nice. I'm at work and they can't participate. But Aww. if you're on the weekend, maybe that, you could. That's a good suggestion. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I think I'm nearly done with this. Um. 
It looks great. Chat, do you agree? Is it finished? Is it finished? I never know sometimes. I'm just like, I could always keep working on something forever. Oh, yeah. Like, I always see parts like, oh, I can add this little detail. Like, f like for the desk, I could add, like, more little knickknacks mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess for this, I could nearly be done. I could keep working also. Your choice got 20 minutes. I got 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'll start in 20 minutes. <laughs> I could do some random doodles, but. Yeah. Adriana says, yep, I think it's finished. Uh, Madison likes these during the week because it keeps you entertained at work. Mm, yes, yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm always watching like live streams or listening to the radio or mm, podcasts. Podcasts, yeah. All yeah. the podcasts. Oh, cool. You just submitted your contest contribution. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. Hmm, what if we all collaborate on a random new quick draw? Interesting. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, I hope my boss doesn't pass by by surprise. <laughs> it's educational. It's educational, yeah. It's like we're not, you know, it's not. It's not anime. We're not you're talking wanting. about anime. No. What are you talking about, boss man? <laughs> uh, Miriam wants to know if you have any good podcasts you can introduce. Yeah. Oh, Nerd yeah. Light. Nerd is a Light podcast. podcast that <laughs> Hasn't started yet, no. but it's definitely coming into fruition. Don't worry, guys. We'll make t-shirts, pins, patches. <laughs> yes. yes. um, the good thing about being an artist is you can just make your own merch. Yeah. That's it's the only cool. reason. To I love do a buying podcast. artist merch. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of art part podcast podcasts. Hard cursed. <laughs> uh, podcasts that I've listened to, especially during school. Um, yeah. Some of them aren't that active anymore, but uh, I remember listening to like Your Dreams, My Nightmares. Ah, um, uh -huh. that's an, that one's more towards uh, editorial illustration stuff. Very cool. But they invite, um, I forgot his name, Sam something. Connolly? I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, but um, he uh, is the host of the podcast. Oh, nice. Um, but he invited, I know Jillian, Jillian Tamaki was on mm -hmm. there. Um, Darushin. Um, love. Yeah. So much love. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a, that's one podcast to check out. Um, I listened to Chris Oatley's podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for concept art. Also from Columbus. Mm. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, I listened to Chris Oatley's podcast. Um, Bobby Chu, who does schoolism. Yes. Yeah. Um, he has a really good uh, podcast as well where he interviews artists is. um there's a creative po creative pep talk creative which pep. is my favorite one mostly because um andy j miller who is the producer and host and everything was one of my instructors at ccad oh. and he's a really cool guy and it's all about just uh getting pepped to make creative stuff like how to stay motivated how to develop your brand voice and it's really aimed towards illustrators, which is kind of a, a nice niche. Yeah, Andy J. Pizza. Very good, and you guys should check him out. I'm gonna try doing foreground plants, maybe. Ooh. Maybe it won't work, maybe it will. Mm -hmm. We'll see. It's all about trying stuff till you don't fail anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, his name's Andy J. Miller. I think, I don't know if you would have had him. I think he's only been teaching for a couple of years at CCAD. CCAD. The CACAD. CACAD. <laughs> did you like, did you like going to school there? I did. Yeah. Definitely. It was nice uh, growing up in a town that just already had an amazing art school in it. Yeah. That sounds really cool. Oh, sorry. Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the Michael Shiz. The man of the hour. <laughs> All righty, we can pop through some of these submissions. Let's see, where did we end up? Here we go. Uh, Caesar suggested add a plushie on the counter. Oh, That's what a, kind of plushie? Yeah, what kind of plushie? Because then I'm going to make it probably just like some cute cat or something. That's right. Ooh. Yeah, look at these colors. Yeah, that's super cool. Complimentary. Mm -hmm. Blue, yeah, orange. Definitely. This is by Alex, who has been participating a lot. Thank you, mm -hmm. Alex. Thank you for participating. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. 
This is like an o- anime opening. Oh. <laughs> Are you trying to trigger her? <laughs> into picking. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let my bias show through. Okay, cool. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, I love and clean. that. It's so sim- like minimalistic. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of the Adobe Max logo. Mm. Very similar. Mm. Aww. The cutest. Super cute. The cutest aesthetic. Oh, everyone's suggesting Totoro plushies. I know. I'm glad there's a bunch of Totoro with my fans. Look at this little cutie. Oh, so cute. I love her buns. Mm-hmm. And just the coloring is really nice. Painterly. I love like, how happy she is. Yeah, nice use of a grass brush without making it look too grass-like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, this Stunna. is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. I love the kind of, like what you're doing the foreground Yeah, points. yeah, yeah. That's what I was about to say. Who did it best? <laughs> <laughs> she did. Oh, goodness. Check this out. Oh my, this, this is... <laughs> this looks like a dream. Yeah, like very surreal. Mm-hmm, very very nice. cool. I like the mix of just like the ink lines and the, the painting. Yeah, mm-hmm. and to me it seems like this probably wasn't actually drawn on this piece of paper. Like mm-hmm. maybe it was thrown mm-hmm. yeah, a texture, like a texture afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's really nice. It really meshes well with the, the thin lines and mm-hmm. the drawing style. Ooh, oh, creepy. Very, yeah, very dramatic. This reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist where they look through the door. <laughs> Can you see eyeballs? <laughs> Just saying. Oh. <laughs> Be the king. Very nice bugs. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, very, very nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I think mm-hmm. this is by someone who's also submitted a lot. Mm. Very cool. <laughs> Who? What? Yenny Jew. Wait, okay, <laughs> someone's trolling me. Please, please pass this. <laughs> <Someone's> t- <laughs> what? <laughs> That's horrible. Mm, it's amazing. Oh my god, oh my god, should I even reveal? That's like something that I did when I was younger. Oh, did you actually <laughs> yeah, draw that? One of my close friends, probably. <laughs> this is. <laughs> well. Okay, so this is a very humble beginning to my art career. <laughs> um, I really want to. Reveal yourself, like honestly. I like, did this. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so embarrassed right now. At least it's not Neopets fan art. Oh god. Knuckles is cool. Oh, yeah, I, th- I don't remember what age I did this, but um. It was just like last year. Yeah, yeah, just last year I did this. <laughs> um, very humble beginning. We all start somewhere. Very. Chill. <laughs> all right, let's critique it. Oh um, no, 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 just kidding. <laughs> the sun is like not even like. What is that? It's supposed to be a sun, I think, that's on the top left. It's like a manhole cover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the drama. <laughs> oh, this is very cool. I like the yeah. symmetry of this. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Another flower crown. Mm, I love the watercolor mm-hmm. texture. Looks like it might actually be. Like I can see the edge of the paper. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Ooh, butterfly crown? Have that's not really seen nice. that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is like a flower. Very cool. Whoa. Whoa. Very. What? Yeah. Yeah. She looks like Melisandre. I can't tell if this is like photo compositing all mashed together. Very cool. Welcome back, Alexander. Welcome back. Think like a queen. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. I like how this could be like a promotional poster for Mm -hmm. something. Yeah. And I wonder if that's actually hand lettering. Yeah. If so, very nice. I'm always so impressed by like people who can letter because mm-hmm. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> My aesthetic is like messy lettering. So I'm like, it's it's cool, it's stylized, yeah, yeah, but yeah. really yeah, I yeah. just can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. Oh wow. Another, it's really a leaf cl- leaf crown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This reminds me of the guy Gautier. Was that his name? Oh yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. that I yeah, used to yeah. know. This looks like him. Very nice, you guys. We have 10 more minutes to keep submitting your submissions. 10 more minutes. Uh, this is what we have so far, and then we'll look at everything all at the end, make uh, the final decision. Jenny, you will you'll pull the plug. You'll you'll oh, make yeah. the final decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be great. Um, keep on adding these foreground plants. Yeah. Oh, it is hand lettering. Very nice. Oh, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Whenever I see people like hand lettering, like on the spot, I'm like, how are you doing that? Such like good control. Okay. okay. I'm just whispering to myself. I'm not whispering <laughs> to myself at all. <laughs> Baby cool. 
Great job, Michelle. Yes, definitely. Got Corey in the house. Corey in the house. Wait, oh my gosh. That is a show. That's actually a show. <laughs> That's, a show. <laughs> That's why I that said a it. Disney Channel show. That's why it was so natural. You revealed yourself. To say, I've actually never seen it, but I, I know the meme. Know your memes, kids. <laughs> know your memes. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Corey in the house. <laughs> Are there any inspirations that you still have that you're like embarrassed of? Like, say you're really inspired by Corey in the house, but you would never say that. <laughs> I always think, like, Sonic's my go-to. Are you actually thing. inspired by Sonic? Yeah, I love Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not ironic. <laughs> Gotta what? go fast. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I played so many. Like, I played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Mm -hmm. I played, like, Sonic Heroes. I played Sonic R. I played all the, like, platform games. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, and I played a lot of Kirby games too. Aww. I don't know. What am I supposed to be? Like, honestly, like, yeah, Sonic's pretty embarrassing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, to the extent of, like, how much fan art I did for it. Yeah. Like, I did so much fan art. I actually, I was looking at your Instagram the other day, real creepy like, and mm. you have a piece, it's called, like, It Was a Dream or something like that, where uh. she's, like, on her bed and has the kind of stars going around her head, and in the background, there's, like, a drawing of oh. Sonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, good you. eye, good eye. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Um, did you ever play Kingdom Hearts? I didn't. Okay, so that illustration really reminds me of a scene in Kingdom Hearts, actually. Oh, does it? Yeah, it, like the room is so similar with all the little knickknacks and oh, kitschy I, things. I, I mean, probably my subconscious, like, just You've like, seen it somewhere. that up and mm -hmm. like... Possibly. Possibly, but uh... I loved, uh, isn't, I mean, Simple and Clean was the thing. Simple and Clean. Don't get me started. <laughs> you make, oh God, like I want a karaoke to that. Michelle goes, when you walk, walk away. away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, please, so. <laughs> we can't start this right now. No, it's not. <laughs> Goodness gracious. When when Kingdom Hearts came out, I made my mom take me to Best Buy. Oh my god. Got Hikari Yutada's CD. Oh my god. Does not have Simple and Clean on it. It's just oh. her like normal music. Mm -hmm. But I was like, she's my she's my bias. She's not. She's, she's my bias. She is. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Still waiting on Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same. I just bought the like conglomerated version where it's all of the games in one disc. So I've kind of been like playing through them a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hickey fans, this is making my nerd brain hurt. <laughs> oh, just, no. I'm bearing my soul and I'm okay with it. Yeah. Like, this is me, like, kind of like being tame about it, honestly. <laughs> like, goodness gracious. Um, oh, I did, Alex. Let's not talk about it. That's though. where I got my start. Yeah, DeviantArt. Furries. Totally. <laughs> Don't even get started. Like honestly, like I have like my own Sonic OC. I like me and my older sister. We tried to make our own like game concept art when we were like really young, and it's like literally it's a rip off of Sonic, but we just changed everyone to be like rabbits. <laughs> yeah, I also had a deviant art. That's where I got my start too. But mine was all Neopets fan art and oh, I also Chemical did Romance Neopets fan art. Neopets fan art. I did yeah. like fan art of like my Kachik and like my Kiko. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Those were good times, honestly. <laughs> I feel like those are like pure times that I will never get back. Mm -hmm. Like, cause it's just like when you're making like fan art, it's like literally like I don't know. It's for yourself. It is a thousand percent for yourself. Yeah. Oh goodness, I did like art trades. Yeah. Drew other yeah, people's characters. Yeah. <laughs> My OC, please do not steal. Yes. <laughs> oh goodness. I would draw like, thanks for 100 followers illustrations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then people still do that. It's still a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> oh not my goodness. I'm getting, yeah, just like those days on DeviantArt. And it would be like, really like, shitty scans that I would post too sometimes. Yeah. I'm just like, hey guys, just did this like last night. Let me know what you think. <laughs> it was always on like lined paper. Yeah, 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 let's be real. Yeah, I think I like made my mom buy me a scanner. Or like when they got a new printer, I was like, it has to have a scanner. It has to have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't have a digital camera because it's like 1962. 
because that's no, how old I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You've been a hologram for yes, how long? That long. <laughs> Wayne, <laughs> Jenny on her deathbed, please check my <laughs> Dude, honestly, <laughs> like, I want them to keep them satiated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're probably all dying of hunger at this point. I know, it'd be so sad. <laughs> I forgot when's the last time I actually checked up on them, though. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. abandoned my roots. Yeah. Are you actually doing the Totoro plushie? Yeah. I'm doing a, some variation of it. Right. It's just like a cat, dog, rabbit, creature, no trademark. No trademark. Mm -hmm. Miyazaki, please don't sue me on this live stream. Yes. <laughs> I don't think he would. His heart's too pure. He is. Um, you guys have five more minutes to five submit minutes. your contest submissions. And we'll have this contest kind of winning that Jenny will pick. And then we have Corey coming up next and he'll also do a giveaway and a contest. And um, then we have Sophie after that. So if you do not win this time, don't fret. Um, you'll have two more chances. But two then that's chances. it until next week. And we have a lot of submissions. A lot? Oh yeah, I got them all open. Don't you worry, but we have a lot. This plush is not turning out okay. Oh, he's not okay. He's not okay. Let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> um, Olivia, what is the contest? So if you're watching us on be.net slash live, just click on the contest tab and you can find all the information there or you can uh, just listen to me tell you about it. Today the theme is crown. So you're going to make an illustration today. It's inspired by Corey's beautiful illustration. He'll be on so next. Beautiful. If you want to hang out and see more stuff like this. Um, all you have to do is use Photoshop or Illustrator CC 2018. That's the most recent update. Make an illustration based off of the theme of crown. It could be anything. It could be even be like a tooth crown. Like, it doesn't have to be a head crown. Oh, do that's creative. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think of that. And then all you have to do is share the link either via our contest tab, so the link is in there, or go to bit.ly slash submit adobe. You have three minutes, because that took me two minutes to explain. <laughs> <laughs> Did we already pick a winner for the posters? Yes. So we do that at about an hour into every stream. Um, I think Simon won the posters this time, and then you can possibly win during Corey's stream or Sophie's stream. <laughs> Yay! So you guys are going to be submitting them during Corey's too. Nice. Yeah. Glad to hear it. They keep rolling in. I keep opening them. It's like clockwork. It's like clockwork. Yeah. Okay. There's a plushie there. A very simple plushie. Boom. And it's all blurred out. Very and nice. It's all blurred out, so it doesn't even look like it's just like a little, <laughs> little sad little plushie. <laughs> just chilling. Do you see the teleprompter right now? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's Michael Shez and Terry White fan art. <laughs> Dude, this fan art's so good. <laughs> it's, like it's very so photorealistic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Also, I love saying teleprompter. I mm. feel so professional. Yeah, I was just like, teleprompter. Like, like deep, 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 deep. <laughs> Newsflash. We're nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Nerd Light. Yes. A podcast for the modern era. <laughs> uh, so we have two minutes left. If you guys are just getting started, just throw down some crown illustration. Just take a minute. Boom, see what happens. Upload it. Got about one minute now. One minute. But if you're kind of rushing and don't feel ready, don't worry. Just save it for Corey or Sophie's stream, um, and we'll check it out then. Yeah. But if you can submit it now, do it. Mitch says, I don't dare submit anything after seeing how great some of y'all's submissions are. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mitch, you should try anyways. I want to see what you make. Yeah, I'm sure it's great, too. Mm -hmm. Mitch, you've been around for all three days. Utah, right? Still from Utah today? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. It's almost time to look at these submissions. And then that, I think I'm done with this. Or as done as I can get on this live stream. I am amazed. You just, you blasted through this thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All with the help of the audience and you, Kathleen. 
Yes, and of course the art director that stayed mercifully quiet mm, yeah. the whole time. <laughs> he's, he's probably going to make me change everything after yeah. this. <laughs> Trust me, I'm an artist. <laughs> I wonder if that person who did the voice acting is actually... What is that, a British accent? So. Are you actually British, or do art directors just pretend to be? Just to sound... Important. <laughs> smart. <laughs> Lena says it turned out perfect. 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 Thank you, Lena. It's too kind. Where can I get one of those art directors? Are you sure you want one, Joseph? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you want one. I, I figure they're kind of like the Adobe, like, Emmys. Like, you hand them to people <laughs> when they do a really bad job. <laughs> Amazing work, Jenny. Yes, agreed. Thank you, guys. Probably All right, y'all. Yeah. Got a couple more coming in. Do, 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 do. We'll wait for all of these submissions to be posted. And then we'll take a look. Right. I'm gonna wait for Adobe Live Team's official thumbs up. Oh, they're all in? All right. Oh. Okay. Let's I'm not gonna draw my peek. maple sorry. No, I'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> you do that later and then you hashtag Adobe Live and everyone can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, you got a clown with a crown. That crown with a crown. Yeah, this seems almost like holiday-ish. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cool with the animation. The oh, static. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's really oh, animation. Just kidding. That's the green screen. Oh, laughs <laughs> nervously. Uh, next, but very cool. <laughs> oh, very nice. Kind of abstract or editorial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how sketchbook feel it is. Yes. Yeah. And also, if you see any that you like, just let me know and we'll mm -hmm. push mm -hmm. them to the top. Very cool. So yeah. Renzi kind of like Princess Bubblegum. Oh, yeah, Adventure yeah. Adventure Time. Ooh. Ooh. Spooky. Uh-huh, very spooky. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. Nice graphic shapes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cute. I really like this one. Yes, yeah. me too. Mm -hmm. Definitely took maybe inspiration from your painterly light style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool. Nice. Everybody wants the crown. Love. It's a nice mix of painterly mixed with like a nice cutout mm -hmm, feel. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love the framing. Yes, and it's like not wearing a crown, but kind of has this crown shape. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I love the textures in the background. Yeah. Oh, very cool, mm -hmm. Ming. We saw the same kind of character yesterday yeah. for the rainy one. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice crown, very though. Very cool. Desiree, let's blow this up. Oh, cute, it's like coral. Oh, that's cute. You guys are so creative. I'm yeah. amazed. I'm inspired by you guys. Yeah. Like so many different interpretations of like, the word crown. Yes. I think we might have seen this during the earlier stream, mm. but very cool. Cute. Aw. Little, little, little rat that. king. Yeah, rat king. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice> <laughs> Oh, and this is the vertical version. Uh, I think yeah, they yeah. wanted the upside down one, so I'll just close that. Yeah. Oh, it's like the crown, cloud crown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did they utilize color dodge for this? Yes, maybe. <laughs> and Yuri says you want to know whose work is whose. Nice. So in most of them in the bottom right corner, you can see a name mm. if they post it on Behance. Oh, I very love the cute. scale of this. Yeah. It's like the very small character mm -hmm. and the huge crown. It reminds me of like a hermit crab. Mm -hmm. Downtown, Downtown crowns. crowns. Nice, Herbert. Uh-huh. Nice design. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Oh. We can zoom in a little bit. This looks hand-drawn. Oh, Maybe it's just hand-sketched. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Oops. Aww. Aww, cute. Uh -huh. Very Fantasia. Uh -huh. Shyprincess.png. <laughs> Shyprincess.png. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah, like my AOL asset or something. Oh, nice, Alex. This is so... Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. A very, like, children's illustration. Yeah, where the wild oh, yeah, where the, yeah. are. Oh, yeah, where the... Definitely influenced by that. Maxwell, yep. That's totally. Nice. Oh, and this one is down further. Okay, so we checked out these ones already, so I'll go a little quickly through. Let me know. Uh -huh. If you're loving anything, this uh -huh. is a photo composite. Yeah. Very nice. So many flower crowns. <laughs> no. <This is> <laughs> it. I honestly, I still, like, seriously, who did this? <laughs> I will seek you out. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, command W that one. <laughs> All right. We got this knowledge. Nice. Mm -hmm. design. I really like the graphic nature of this one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Be the king. Eyes. 
No worries, Adobe Live. I've got it downloaded. <laughs> um, yeah, this one was that cool kind of dreamscape yeah, one. Yeah, I really like this one too. Oh, this stunner right here. Mm -hmm. Flower crowns, flower mm -hmm. crowns. Nice graphic design. Mm -hmm. The anime intro. Anime, OP, yeah. Yes, so nice. Mm -hmm. The mural sketch. The mural sketch is really I really mm -hmm. like this one, actually. Yeah, nice. It's one of my top ones. Very nice. So what are you thinking? Anything that really oh, sticks out Oh, this one was you? really nice, yeah, too. Yeah, I just love the figures. And this was the one that we downloaded. Yeah. Oh, this is so hard, guys. Yes. I think it's between those figures and okay. the, the bird for me, the crane. Or, oh, all right. Yeah. So between this and this. Bit more organic and naturalistic this route. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to choose. It's the last time you have to choose. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes. All right, that one. I this opened one? my eyes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I think Luke won. Luke? Congratulations! Congratulations, Yay. Luke. <laughs> Munir says, poor Jenny, I don't want to be in your shoes. It's hard! There are <laughs> so many good entries. Yes, definitely. The bird! The bird! Hooray! Knuckles, 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 knuckles! No, disqualified. Mm -hmm. This is really beautiful. Congratulations! And thank you guys for sticking around. Yeah, thank you guys. Mm -hmm. It's been really amazing. Mm -hmm. This congrats, was such a great congrats. experience. Yeah, did you learn anything? Yeah, about I yourself? learned so much. Yeah. Learned so much about how to <laughs> try to do a couple things at once. You did amazingly. And yeah, and I learned so much about like the Adobe community. Like everyone's so nice, so talented. Good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Luke, they will message you. Not to worry. Everyone's saying congrats. It was an honor. Yeah. You guys, make sure that you stick around. We have two more streams for this week coming up. We got Corey Brickley coming up next. Doing some awesome kind of gritty <laughs> film noir. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he would explain it, but he's deep within the confines of a book. He's like nodding, like, yeah. <laughs> <That's> about right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Sophie Diao afterwards, and she's an amazing Google Doodler, mm -hmm. um, textural critters. I don't mm. know what she's going to be working on today. Mm. So come back. I'll be excited to see. Yeah. No problem, Ramy. Thank you so much for Thank being you guys. Here. I'm so grateful to have this experience and Yay. to be able to talk with you guys. And yeah. To be sitting next to Kathleen <laughs> as my host. Yay. And do you want to share your social media again so people can make sure to keep up with you? Um, yeah. Maybe I'll just like write it down. And just, should I write it down or uh, I'll guess I'll just. I think somebody in chat will probably yeah. tell what it is. And then I can just write down a few. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my Instagram. This is, is the real test. At Y E U U. Honestly, I should change it because <laughs> then writing it down, it's not. That's my Twitter and Instagram. So mm -hmm. I G Twitter. My Twitter is literally me just barfing <laughs> random thoughts and it's stuff. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, posting stuff about anime, so not recommended. Instagram, I'm pretty on. I'm on there pretty often, yeah. and I think my Behance is probably already linked to this. Yeah, so. right. So her Behance is Jenny Yu with two mm. U's. Yeah, so, so maybe sure I'll just check write that out. Down really quickly. Yeah. What's up, Voodoo Bell? Hey, girl. Yeah. Yeah, and if Behance. you guys want to check out my stuff, my name's Kathleen Illustrated. Pretty yeah, much everywhere. Yeah, she's awesome. Now that people are checking it out that means I have to make art so that's a good thing <laughs> a lot of pressure right. nice well thank you guys and thank you Jenny you did amazingly thank you guys so much Yay. have this a great so rest fun. of the day and stick around for Corey and Sophie bye guys